Hello everybody and welcome to my review of Christian Dior's Pure Poison Perfume. Um, I haven't done a review for a while so I feel a little bit out of touch actually. It's because it's obviously the holiday season and um, <clears throat> you know you've just been partying too much. Well I have anyway. <laughs> I was actually going to do a review on Christmas Day but then I thought that wouldn't be very fair really to, to do a review a bit uh, tiddly as we say in the UK or drunk or pissed or whatever you want to call it. Excuse my language. Um, so yeah, I've just, I've kind of held off, but uh, I did say I was going to review the three poisons that I own. I've already done Hypnotic, so if you haven't seen that already, go check it out. Uh, this is my second one, and I'll be reviewing Midnight Poison as well. So, um, Pure Poison, yes, this is a floral perfume. Uh, it was released in 2004, and it was actually the third poison that they, uh, that Christian Dior released. I think, obviously, Poison was first. Um, and then it was hypnotic, and then it was this one. What was the, the one after this? I think was the tondra. The tondra. I can't say it in French, but it's the green one. And then midnight, which is my personal favourite. That was the most recent one. I'm actually really excited for them to do a brand new poison. I think that would be a, an amazing thing for next year. Come on, Dior, and make it really good as well. Like a whole new take on poison. None of these extra variations of the ones we've already got. Give us a brand new one. It would be great. So, um, yeah, this one, um, so, yes, it's a floral perfume, as I said. Uh, I'll go through the notes with you, and then I'll show you the bottle. So, the top notes are um, jasmine, lime, bergamot, um, mandarin, and orange. So, you've got a lot of citrusy stuff going along the top there. Um, then you've got, in the heart, you've got uh, gardenia and orange blossom. And then the base is white amber, cedar, and sandalwood. So this is basically a, classified as a white floral because obviously the flowers that are in it and a few of the things are white. So, uh, excuse me, what's that going on there? Somebody's trying to FaceTime me on my iPad. I've never had that before. Ignore. Sorry, <laughs> that's really rude. I didn't know that was going to happen. I was actually had my iPad ready to show you the bottle, but um, yeah. So this is the box. Um, it comes in a very deep purple box it's really nice and shiny um, with regards to the reformulations of a lot of the dual ones I'm not sure about this one I think I might still have uh, it's definitely a different bottle than the original one but I, I don't think they've touched this one in formulation yet correct me if I'm wrong I hope not anyway it's still very strong um, yeah so it's pure poison on the front uh, it's got gold trimming and it's mine's the 50ml one and it's eau de parfum I, I don't think you can even get eau de toilette versions of this I think they, they're all eau de parfum so the poison bottles uh, I'm a huge fan anyway they're, they're really, this one's really pretty mine's the one that's one of the newer ones it's kind of more clear now I can actually show you this let me just get my iPad on if that random I don't know who that was that tried to do that then so yeah it's a kind of clear bottle um, it goes to purple there it's really nice and it's got kind of accents of white around the on the sort of ridgy bits there and it says pure poison and Dior. Uh, the lid is <coughs> very purpley similar to the uh, hypnotic poison one now that I've got as well and it's got a gold sprayer with CD on the top like the other one so <coughs> yeah let's have a look um, let me just have a look so I've had it on this hand for a while so it's been softening here so I'll do it fresh. So, um, the overall feel of this to me is, um, yes, it's flowery, but it also has a very clean and sort of bridal feel to it. I think this would be a perfect scent for a wedding day, a bride. It's got that sort of soft, flowery, but not in your face, flat floral uh, feel to it, um, and. It's kind of I've always I always think it smells like scented tissues. I know scented tissues could be anything, but I think if they were going to scent tissues with something, it would be this. Um, it's it's really really pretty. It's very feminine, um, and to me, it smells very different to when you smell it close to when it's in the air. It's like when it hits the air, it becomes this one kind of perfect bubble of smell. But when it's here you can detect a lot of different things so it does open quite citru citrusy and it's more orangey than anything I think uh, I think I think um, yeah it's more orangey and it's it's jasmine and gardenia they both smell quite similar 
uh, and jasmine and gardenia, I've always thought of them as being quite powerful flowers, but in this, it manages to, to stay quite soft and muted, if, if you like, and um, pure, I suppose. That's, they've done the name, you know, the name is right, I suppose, they've, they've captured it quite, quite well. Um, and the white amber, when you smell it close on your hand, this is really interesting, the white amber I can't smell in the air, but the white amber, which if you've watched my Alien review, is a big note in Alien. If you own Alien and this together and you're just watching this for, for fun or just to see what my take might be, if you smell them close up, you can smell white amber in this and you can smell white amber in that. But where white amber in Alien is very, it's quite heavy because it's got the, the, the sandback jasmine, this is like much lighter, but you can definitely, there's definitely a significance um, uh, sorry, significant similarity between them. So it's really, really nice. Um, so it, I always think it smells quite powdery as well. It's got, it's not a, a pure powder scent, but it has that sort of powdery, soft floweriness to it. And it's just, it's very feminine. And I don't know, it's just, it just smells like tissues. Um, and, and also what I always think is that it's a very strong perfume, but the, what it actually smells like is very soft. Um, so it projects well, and it's really, really strong, and it's it's everywhere. But it's it's not a very icky or heady smell. It's a it's a light scented. It's, it's the scent is light, but the strength is strong. If that makes sense, I can only kind of compare it to when I think of Noah by Cacharel, that's a very soft scent, but I wish it was stronger. I wish it lasted longer, and they've managed to do it with this. Dior has managed to make a soft smell that projects and lasts for days. So it's really good in that respect, and it's really worth the money. And if you can't really afford it, if it's out of your price range, it's out of my price range. I got this as a present, thankfully. But um, it, th there's a couple of things that are very similar to this. Uh, Victoria Beckham, if you like her or if you don't. She's got a perfume called Intimately Beckham, which is pink. It comes in like a square, um, square, quite flat bottle. And I had that as well, and it smells very similar. There's something in this that makes them very similar, except Dior is obviously a little bit more complex and a little bit, just a little bit longer lasting. That one doesn't last half as long as this, but it, they smell the same. Uh, and I've never actually smelled it either, but there's one by Jesus Del Pozo called In White, which is apparently very similar to this. So, but I think that's quite an expensive brand also. So if you want to try out Victoria Beckham's uh, Intimately Beckham, go for it, because it does smell like this. I've owned them both, so I can vouch for that. Um, but yeah, really, that's that's kind of it. I mean, it just it, this perfume gradually just... I don't think it's very multifaceted. I think it just kind of... It starts out kind of orangey, but it just has this overall softness, an overall beautiful white floral feel, and it just kind of gradually gets more well-rounded, which a lot of perfumes do, and this does that very beautifully, and it does stay with you a lot. But um, yeah, any brides, if, uh, if you're getting married, I would go for this. If you like flowery perfumes that are just, that's going to last you your whole wedding day through the dancing and the partying, I would go for this. But that's basically my, um, my review really that's this is the beautiful bottle again just in case you missed it and um yeah thanks for watching i might do midnight poison now i'm not sure but i'll see how i go bye